sometimes after a rain, you see puddles of water around, especially if you have potholes in the, in the roads that you live nearby. Those puddles, after the storm's over, there is calmness in the air, they settle down and beautifully reflect their surroundings. It looks serene. But if you throw even the smallest pebble into that puddle, it'll splatter and will take time to settle down again. But if you go to a, a lake, Manasarovar comes to my mind. A large lake that is settled down and reflecting the beautiful surroundings. And throw the same pebble into that lake, it'll hardly make a difference. You will see the ripples, but it will not be there for long. It'll continue to reflect that beautiful surroundings. Even if you throw a big rock into this lake, same effect. Gita is saying our mind should be calmed. If you take that analogy, the size of the puddle size of the lake to signify knowledge that we gain. So puddle is a little bit of knowledge, lake is a lot of knowledge. And think of our ability to separate our senses from our mind, that is Temptation of the senses do not exist because our mind is controlling. Mind is not allowing the sensations or the temptations of the sensations to distract it. Consider that to be the depth of the body of water that we are looking at. The combination of the two is what will guarantee steadiness which leads to that tranquility, the peace of mind. So just the wisdom is the, the state of that water being steady, reflecting the beautiful surroundings. That's the wisdom. But even that wisdom can be disturbed by a small external stimulus. But if you have the depth and the knowledge, then your wisdom can be maintained. That's what is mentioned in the next three verses. When the mind is easily distracted, there is no wisdom. A person who is prone to such 
temptations of the, the senses does not have the ability to attain wisdom. Without wisdom, there is no peace of mind. Without peace of mind, there is no comfort. Wisdom can be affected like a sailboat is affected by the wind. without steadiness of mind. So the one that separates the senses from the mind, meaning avoids temptations, is the one which is, who is going to, to maintain that wisdom and achieve peace of mind. The message is simple here, we will continue.